It's another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, episode 1288, and I'm Dr. Neil Malik. Hey there, happy Friday, and welcome to another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily, where I answer your health questions related to fitness, diet and nutrition, and lots more. You send in the questions, and I answer them for you. Now, if you want to send me a question, come by oldpodcast.com slash ask, or you can call in your question by dialing 61 I love OHD. And now I'm taking email questions too. You can send one in to health at oldpodcast.com. And if that wasn't enough, if you're listening to this on Spotify, right there in the app, you'll see a prompt asking for your question. Just hit reply and type your question right there. It's super easy. Now, if you're wondering, why should I bother sending Dr. Neil a question? Isn't doctor just a nickname? Well, no, that would be illegal. I actually do have my doctor of public health degree where my emphases were chronic disease prevention and nutrition. I also have my master of public health degree where my emphases were health promotion and health education. I'm also a registered dietitian nutritionist, a certified health education specialist, and a certified exercise physiologist through the American College of Sports Medicine. Enough about me though. I'm sure you're anxious to hear today's question. So let's get right to it as we optimize your life. Today's question came to me via email. Jessica writes, are there differences if you do sets and reps of squats, for example, or if you do continuous squats for a certain number of minutes? Is one better than the other? Thanks. Thank you for your question, Jessica. I wouldn't say one is better than the other. Instead, I would recommend incorporating both styles into your routine. This is because each method will train your muscles in different ways. So one of the forms of training that you mentioned is often used to build muscular strength. The other could be used to help build muscular endurance. Having muscles that are both strong and capable of performing for longer periods of time are important components of someone's overall fitness level. I'll explain. The term fitness is so misleading. This is because it can mean so many different things. If I were to have you imagine that a patient of mine was really fit, what would this patient look like? I guarantee that if I asked 10 of my listeners to describe what this fit patient looked like, I would get 10 different responses. Luckily, health organizations like the American College of Sports Medicine have helped us make sense of this term. Fitness actually incorporates five different components. One, cardiorespiratory fitness. So this basically refers to how strong your heart and lungs are. By performing cardio, you're strengthening your heart and lungs. Two, muscular strength. An example of this would be, what's the heaviest weight you can lift? Three, muscular endurance. To assess this, we would ask someone to perform as many sit-ups as they can in one minute. Four, body composition. So something like determining a person's body fat percentage and where on the body that fat is stored. These would fall under body composition. And five, flexibility. Are you able to bend down and touch your toes, for example? All right, so notice that muscular strength and muscular endurance are both separate but equal components of fitness. Okay, so how does that translate to planning our workouts, and how does that relate back to your question, Jessica? Well, it means we need to incorporate both muscular strength and muscular endurance into our training. We need to spend some time improving our cardiorespiratory fitness also by walking, running, cycling, swimming, sprinting, and so on. This is because these types of exercises will strengthen our heart and lungs. We also wanna make sure we stretch at least twice a week to keep the body flexible. We wanna eat nutritious foods in appropriate portions to help improve our body composition. And again, we wanna incorporate some heavier lifting and improve our muscular endurance. Here's how. The American College of Sports Medicine recommends that if you want to build muscular strength, like increasing the amount of weight you can lift at one time, you want to perform a specific number of sets and reps. The recommendation is to aim for three to five repetitions per set. That means pick a weight you can only lift three to five times before having to put it down because it gets too heavy. If you can lift the weight more than five times, it means you can increase the weight. It's too light for you. 
Because you're lifting a heavy weight though, you need to rest for two to three minutes before picking up that weight again. By following this type of program, this will increase your muscular strength. To build muscular endurance, we can completely get rid of the weight and perform exercises just using our body weight, or we can use really light weights. This is a great time to set a timer and try and perform as many repetitions of an exercise as you can in one minute, for example. Now, Jessica, you asked about squats specifically. So let's talk specifics. Here's what a sample workout might look like. For building muscular strength, using a barbell or while holding dumbbells, perform three to five squats. If you feel as though you could perform more than five squats, add some weight again. Rest for two to three minutes and repeat for a total of five sets. The next day, perform some easy cardio. Go for a walk, a bike ride, a swim, etc. And you can again, keep it at an easy pace. Rest the following day or perform some flexibility exercises. Then it's time to add some muscular endurance training into the mix. So after a day of rest or stretching, you can do something like this. Perform as many squats using just your body weight for 30 seconds. Rest for 30 seconds. Then, for the next 30 seconds, perform as many squats using just your body weight again. Repeat for a total of five or more times. Some folks have so much muscular endurance in their legs, they can repeat this cycle 10, 15, even 20 times or more. So again, Both muscular strength and muscular endurance are important components of our overall fitness. So performing an assigned number of sets and reps or doing continuous squats, for example, for a certain number of minutes would both be important. They each train the body in a different way. So please do incorporate both regularly. And thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring this episode. One problem I often hear about meal subscription services is that there's a limited number of options from which to choose. Well, HelloFresh has solved that problem with over 25 recipes featuring a range of flavors, cuisines, and ingredients, you'll never get bored. Try something new every week. And they continue to add delicious extras like quick breakfasts and lunches, proteins, savory sides, and crave-worthy desserts. The one thing all of these options have in common They are all delicious. I heard so much about the homestyle chicken and biscuit pot pie, but thought everyone was exaggerating how good it was until I tried it and it melted in my mouth. It was the ultimate comfort food. Now you can try it for yourself with a special discount for our listeners. Go to hellofresh.com slash OHD12 and use code OHD12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. That's hellofresh.com dot com slash OHD12 and use code OHD12 for 12 free meals, including free shipping. HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Thank you again for the question, Jessica. You're gonna be entered into a small raffle every month for a chance to win a free book. And if you wanna be in the raffle, just send me a question. Come by oldpodcast.com slash ask. You can record right from your computer's microphone or you can call in your question. The number is 61 I love ohd Email questions work too. Send one to health at oldpodcast.com or if you're listening on Spotify, check out this episode right there in the app. You'll see a prompt asking for your question. Just hit reply and type your question right there. It's super easy. And I appreciate you taking the time to send me questions. I love listening to and reading them. All right, that'll do it for another Q&A edition of Optimal Health Daily. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for your continued support. One of the best things you can do is share the show with someone. I hope you have a wonderful start to your weekend and I'll see you back here tomorrow as usual where your optimal life awaits.